everyone i welcome you to the class today we'll be studying about three site uh, replication uh, before we study what is this three site uh, replication uh, let us uh, look after the replication the modes of replication where we have discussed about the synchronous replication and the asynchronous replication where in the synchronous the data is been transferred to the target Uh, and the acknowledgement is being received from the target and from the target to the source and from the source it is being given back to the host uh, here when uh, the transfer of the data is taking place in the synchronous replication the source and the target are usually at the shorter distance so whenever you are transferring the information both the source and target are at very near distance the problem associated with this one is that uh, if in case there is any disaster then uh, the both the source and the target might become unavailable so because of this uh, they, there is a point in uh, to recover the data so this will be a, um, a tedious work but that is not the case in uh, asynchronous because in asynchronous the source is uh, at one particular um, geographical location and the target will be at the another ge geographical location and the data will be uh, replicated that means it will be copied so in case even if the source is going to fail uh, the target can be used uh, for the purpose of the business continuity and also um, the, and it it is also beneficial when compared it to the Uh, synchronous uh, replication but uh, there there are some uh, issues related to this two site uh, replication because uh, in case uh, from the source to the target the data is been replicated the, from the target again the data cannot be replicated so this is all been overcome in the three site uh, replication so in this three site replication the data from the source side is replicated to the two remote sites so replication can be synchronous or it can be asynchronous or it can be even the disk buffered also and uh, so the various ways this three site replication is used as cascaded or multi hop or it can be using the triangle or the multi target solution Uh, in the three site replication first we'll discuss about the cascade uh, or the multi hop in this uh, cascade or the multi hop it's a three site replication where the data will flow from the source to the intermediate storage uh, uh, array uh, which is also known as a bunker and uh, and from there the bunker it is moving to the remote site so that is Uh, so if i have to show you diagrammatically representation if this is the source from the source it is moved to the intermediary uh, storage called as a bunker and this is from this bunker it is moved to the another uh, storage uh, that is acting as the target or the remote so this is the source from the source it is the bunker from the bunker it is copied to the target so the replication moves uh, from one um, uh, disk to the another disk so in this also the replication we are applying the two modes one can be synchronous and asynchronous or the another method that we are going to perform for this one is synchronous along with the disk buffered uh, so the first diagram where you can see that the replication is taking place with the synchronous and asynchronous Uh, in this uh, synchronous uh, replication using the cascade or the multi hop um, multi hop is having more than one hop that is the database so uh, we can see in this one we have uh, the three hops the first one is the source we have the bunker in between and the remote site okay uh, now you can check the that there is from the source device the data is being uh, replicated to the bunker site in the synchronous uh, mode okay it is replicated in the synchronous mode from the bunker side to the remote it is been copied or it is been replicated using the asynchronous mode so if in case any disaster occur at the source then the production operations are been failed 
okay uh, uh, either with the zero or the non zero data loss but if in case uh, the uh, the data loss is going to take place or if there is any disaster at the bunker site what happens is the source site data is going to continue to operate without any remote replication so in case uh, uh, the remote site has to be uh, it has to be updated and all then it has to wait until all the data is been resumed back so the next one is uh, the synchronous with the disk buffered Uh, moving on to the next one is a three site replication also called as a triangle or the multi target in this one you can see that uh, we have the three uh, uh, targets from the source site and the bunker and the remote site which are arranged uh, in the uh, they are arranged in the form of a triangle you can see that they are uh, uh, the, the three are been connected uh, in this one the source to the bunker side that is the target one the replication uh, from the source to the bunker uh, the replication is done using the synchronous and from the source to the remote the replication is done using the asynchronous mode uh, and the distance between the source and the remote sites uh, could be thousands of the mile because it is asynchronous so this implementation is not going to depend upon the bunker site for updating the data on the remote site because the data is asynchronously copied to the remote site directly from the source so here it is not been there but if in the previous one if you check in the multi hop and all the data was been updated from the source from the bunker and from the bunker to the target but that is not been there directly from the source itself to the bunker and the remote side it has been copied the key benefit of this uh, three side triangle is that it has the ability to fail over either of the two remote sides and uh, and also during the disaster recovery we can protect the data between the bunker and the remote sites so uh, us usually during the normal operations the data is available both at the um, uh, bunker and also at uh, the remote site but the um, uh, but the data at the remote site is behind the data at the source and the bunker because the data here from the source to the remote uh, bunker site it is been replicated synchronously that means uh, the acknowledgement is there then only the next write is been taking place but at the remote site it is asynchronous so once the data source uh, um, database is full then only it will be moved to the replica and also here uh, the um, the replication network links between the bunker and the remote site uh, will um, will be in the place but uh, they are not going to be used much the main difference between the between the data between the bunker and remote site is that is tracked if the source site disaster occurs and operations can be re uh, resumed um, at the bunker or the remote sites uh, having the incremental uh, um, resynchronization between these two sites so this is how they are been applying the uh, remote replication of the data so with this one uh, the chapter 4 uh, completes uh, in case you have uh, any doubts uh, you can just uh, yeah, in case you have any doubts uh, then you can just drop your questions at uh, the mentioned uh, blog id uh, thank you